well today we are leaving our mooring here at Rickmansworth. We've been here for a couple of days. Moorings are very, very scarce. And um, yeah, it's very difficult to find a place here. The aquadome is to our left. Fabulous place to walk around. Dogs really, really enjoyed it and it's a lovely space. And immediately to our right is Tesco's, which is open from 6 o'clock in the morning and till 11 o'clock at night. So we've just did our little bit of a stock up and uh, we're off to the first lock of the day. Rickmansworth waterway tracks there. The old locks. It's a little museum over there. And just gotta get these rickety old steps. Last coming in for the first lock of the day, lock 81. These locks on the Grand Union so far have got two sets, ground paddles and gate paddles. So you have to be a bit careful. Wait till they're half full before let the gate paddles open because they are so strong. That's a little cafe. Very nice it is in there too. Good food. What number day is this on the GU? Six. So this is the start of our sixth day on the GU. And it's uh, quite a chocolate block with moorings on both sides. We, wasn't, we weren't level at all, we were more down. That was visitor moors. Yeah, visitor moors at Rickmansworth. And we moved up, managed to move up one, one thinking yeah, that we thought up, we would cure, cure it because, but it didn't actually. So that's one of the reasons why we're moving on is that we just were not level. And I like it quiet. Lovely park where we were, the Aquadrome. Fabulous walking with the dogs, they really enjoyed it. Ideal to go out first thing in the morning before it gets too hot because it's going to be another hot day again today. So the dogs have appreciated it and it was beautiful scenery in there. However, it is time to push on. How many nights do we have there? Two. Two. Two nights. But even here, look, there's, they're resting up on this side, on the right hand side. I can't. do like them Thames barges so. there. I do, beautiful. But you can't really see around the corner. Twenty five ton, same as this. that lovely rudder the whale on it isn't that pretty you know, it's not flower pots on it's a flower basket oh yeah <laughs> hot water solar yeah hot water solar it's our second lock of the day lock me lock built in 1878 pretty little cottage next to it. Absolutely beautiful. Another warm day, isn't it, darling? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I don't know what the time is. 
11.22 and it's Saturday? Yeah. Today is Saturday. I keep forgetting what day of the week it is. What's the weekend? Yeah. Well, our first boat that went past us this morning was at quarter past six this morning. And then yesterday we had a boat that went past at something 11 o'clock-ish, wasn't it? No, it was late, right? And then we had a narrow boat go past at quarter past one in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah. So that was yesterday morning, quarter past one in the morning. Yeah, it was up early for work. Maybe, or just couldn't find a mooring. Few and far between. I mean, it's not too get up here. I didn't find any more. Yeah, as you can see, look, there's the first gap. It's about a mile above um, Britain's work there. Yeah. Look at this. No moored boats. Now that's a rarity. as well. Where we were moored yesterday at Rickmansworth, well for the last two days, we were moored under a nut tree. Yeah, all over the front. <laughs> the squirrel of that boat, most of them. And um, so that was quite funny sitting inside the boat thinking, is it raining? Is it raining? Can't see it. And we looked outside and realised that it was actually these nuts coming off the tree. There's another one that loads and that another one, loads and loads of nut trees. This is lock 79, common moor lock. Our journey along this part of the canal goes through Cassiobrie Park. Cassiobrie Park was once the family seat of the Earls of Essex. Although Cassiobrie House was demolished in 1927, it is said that one of its occupants still continues to appear. Arthur Cappell fought for the Royalists during the Civil War, but was later arrested by the Parliamentarians and was beheaded in 1649. It is said, if you should be passing through the park on a moonlit night in March, keep an eye out for the headless ghost of Arthur Cappell wandering the park on the anniversary of his death, the 9th of March. This part of the canal by Iron Bridge number lock 77 is said to be haunted by the ghost of Jack at Cassibury. In the 18th century, Jack was a servant employed by a wealthy woman living beside the canal. She ordered him to harass people travelling by barges as they passed through the lock nearby, as she didn't like them coming so close to her home. One day, one of the men on the barges took a swing at Jack, who fell in the canal and drowned. Jack's ghost has stalked this part of the canal ever since. We're in Fossio Park Lock, lock number 76, and we've come in with a little boat with a crew that's never done it before. So we've given them a few lessons. They're really nice, nice guys. 
doing well. This pound we're going to go into is quite low. So, we have to stay in the middle. So, we're up to the second one. And we've got to just drain this one before we bring the other two boats up. This was built in 1853, according to the date stone. That's pretty. An old mill. This is Kings Langley. Um, coming up to the grove. So this is the grove park. So is that grove mill once upon a time? Beautiful. We've just ended up in the trees because we've just come round a very tight bend uh, and there was a boat coming in the opposite way that didn't stop. For the boat in front of us? Uh, for the boat that was in front of us as well, it kept coming anyway, it ended up with us being pushed right over. Into the trees? Into the trees where they carried on regardless of what they've just done. Just saying they like the sound of the engine. <laughs> That's nice but I preferred not to have gone into the... Uh... I'm going to have to calm down because of the cold. <laughs> oh, it's Pepsi. Sorry. Pepsi. A Pepsi. Oh! Fish did a back backward flip there. The I said the fish just did a backward flip. Oh, I was going to say that. I thought it was like back falling in. No. No, definitely a fish. So this is the Grove Bridge. around this little section here which is really tight bend by bridge number 165 with the weir the grove park and the grove bridge and then back again to ladies capital's lock 
Not without incident. Was it dear? Not without incident. I'm keeping stung. Well, first of all, we That's two trees today. Well, first of all, let's go back a bit. We did the first tight corner. Um, and just as you come round on this really tight van, there's boats board. So that was... Um, yeah, and he had a sign on his boat saying all boat work undertaken. Yeah. So I said to him, I suppose you've got your insurance policies at the ready for this corner. Yeah, it's definitely crash corner, not very pleasant. And then so we did the second corner and ended up with that boat that just kept coming regardless. And then we had another corner that as we come around the corner there was a willow tree down and uh, we ended up in it. So we've got a lot of willow at the front of the boat at the moment on the bow deck. Um, and also uh, we did it okay, we did it okay, but it was hard work, hard slog, tight corners and blind bends, not, not very pleasant. I say it's quite difficult in a 70 foot boat. And we've got another blind bend coming up now. The boat's on it. The boat's on it. So we'll just swing it round. Yeah, I need to get round now. See what we're, what we're faced up against. Coming on tight this one because that was silt with that guy, the other one took me straight across. Yeah, the pounds have been low here. Oh, I don't know, not, huh? oh we did have bad. that one, didn't we? But it's just tricky, you can't see. There's boats to our left. Um, oh, and tight, bend. tight bend, and we've got no idea what's in front of us. To Hunton's Bridge, which is bridge number 162, and to the right of the bridge is the village called or town called Abbots Langley. And I really wish I, we had smelly vision because this garden, this lock cottage garden is absolutely stunning. The perfume here is amazing. It's honeysuckles, it's irises, absolutely beautiful. What a beautiful cottage. I've just been told that just over in those fields there they want to build another service station for the motorway. Look at this. The aroma is absolutely stunning. And this is where they want to put the service station. And this is lock 71. So here we have the M25. The construction work going on below the motorway. Of 
I must admit we always say we never see anybody working on them but obviously there's a lot going on underneath it having said that I still can't see anybody though This is Nash Lock, number 68. And just look at that gorgeous canal lock cottage. So you can got the original curb stones outside. There's the gate to stop the, the wheels of the traps from scraping alongside the wall. Very, very pretty. Quite a few more up here already. Mm. Well, that is a very pretty rock cottage, still in its original condition as well. Can I come round there? Yep, you can. Otherwise, it can be another tree. Yeah, do you want to do that then? We move on tomorrow. Right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.